Welcome to the Iron Hand Tech Channel. Have you ever wondered where the boxes go after being taken care of? How do people handle them? Join us in exploring the magical journey of a ring box from being discarded until becoming a completely new product in today's video. Let's get started. Cardboard boxes are considered an environmentally friendly product. However, they are made from wood harvested from industrial tree growing areas, and like many other materials, they need to be disposed of after use. Burning or burying cardboard in landfills is not a perfect form of disposal, as buried cardboard releases large amounts of methane, a greenhouse gas that is 25 times more potent than carbon dioxide. So recycling cardboard is a better option, and surprisingly, cardboard can be recycled more than 20 times before the fibers become so weak that they are washed away during the recycling process. For comparison, on average, it takes about 2.2, 4.4 tons of wood to produce each ton of paper, but only 1.4 tons of used paper can produce one ton of recycled paper. Thus, each ton of recycled paper will help save 24 natural forest trees, limit an amount of CO2 equivalent to the emissions of a car in six weeks. Today, a process called the carton recycling value chain is in place. Cartons are collected through residential collection programs, along with other recyclable materials. They are transported to a materials recovery facility where they are sorted and baled. From there, they are sent to a paper mill or to a facility that produces sustainable building materials. According to data from the paper bag website, European countries are the world leaders in the field of recycled paper. The paper recycling rate in Europe is 71.5%, while in Korea, Thailand, and Japan, the paper recycling rate ranges from 65% to 75%. Join us on a visit to a recycling plant to discover the secret behind the regeneration of cardboard boxes. Once sorted, the cartons are fed via a conveyor belt into a shredder, essentially a giant blender. Here, water and blades gobble them up and crush them into tiny pieces, much like the shredded paper we see today. Once crushed, the scraps are fed into a large water tank where they are mixed with water and special chemicals to remove the ink and release the fibers in the paper. The fibers in the paper are broken down during this process and become suspended in the water to form a slurry. To ensure the quality of the pulp, the paper scraps are passed through a filter. This centrifuge removes foreign matter such as tape or glue. Plastics and metals are also removed during this process. Plastics float on top while metals sink to the bottom. To make the recycling process easier, today, right from the production stage, people have effective measures such as choosing the right ratio of wood fiber, using environmentally friendly adhesives, minimizing non-recycled components, and using environmentally friendly printing inks. Now that we have the pulp, it is pumped through the pipes and sent to the forming machine. At the forming machine, the cleaned pulp is spread out to dry on flat conveyor belts and heated cylinders. As the pulp dries, the excess water is also squeezed out. This process effectively forms long rolls of solid sheets from the fibers. These sheets are pressed through rollers. At this point, the thickness of the paper is determined, which will range from 100, 210 journorisum.
This process produces large rolls of brown paper, 2.5 by meter wide, which can weigh up to 10 tons. Finally, the large sheet is cut into smaller sheets of paper of different sizes, depending on the intended use. These sheets of paper will be used to produce many other useful products, such as paper boxes, toilet paper, tissues, helping us save resources and protect the environment. Together, we have explored the magical journey of a cardboard box from being thrown away to becoming a useful new product. Recycling cardboard not only helps protect the environment, but also contributes to building a sustainable future. Imagine a world without waste, a world covered with green forests, and a world where we can enjoy clean air. You have just watched the video introducing the cardboard recycling process. What do you think about this video? Let us know in the comment section below. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe so it can reach more people.